Welcome back, you guys, to my Raven of Redwoods Easter Egg tutorial playlist. Now, this is the sequence two, man. It's going to be the same as the first sequence in the boss fight. The only difference is he's going to put up barriers. You see, now that part of the map is now closed. You can no longer run through the middle, which you've seen. I have never ran through the middle. I stick to the perimeter at all times um, because it's just a lot easier to manage the zombies and to manage his big ass without cutting through the middle and splitting my zombies and it's just it's just better to run the perimeter you want to do the same thing again the skull locations for those beams uh, have not moved they will not move the entire boss fight the only thing is uh, the barriers the barriers is what makes it a little more difficult and the location of where the circle will be that super slasher will jump into um, it will change each sequence but you want to do what you did the first time you want to collect souls collect souls collect souls raise that up into the sky until it's bright white uh, once it's bright white it will do like the last one did it will shoot this beam from skull light to skull light and then in turn it will shoot down a spot onto the ground that super slasher needs to jump inside of for you to damage him and come out of raid mode now uh, the zombies spawn a lot quicker to me in the second uh, sequence and third sequence as you can see like I almost got down there just stay just stay mobile keep moving keep moving keep moving uh, I don't really stop moving but the zombies are spawning a lot more frequently uh, this max ammo spawns in periodically it won't go away if you get it it'll come back again I think in a couple of minutes or something so don't really worry about not having uh, ammo just run around run around it'll respawn again uh, now we see we've completed that step and now the circle is in the middle now this is a little problematic because it is actually next to a barrier so you're kind of trapping yourself between a barrier and super slasher and you have to shoot at him to shoot that spot to get yourself out of rave mode without killing your zombies and spawning more zombies and this could be a bit tricky what I try to do is to stand in a circle as long as possible to try to get him to jump straight into it it doesn't always work but it might work if you just be a little patient and let him jump in and you should be good to go and to shoot the spot on him BAM get out of rave mode and now on to the symbols you should been Franklin bow hopefully you haven't been down if you have been down uh, you will come back without your Ben Franklin bow you have to use your regular weapon to damage the spot on him which really isn't that problematic if you just take your time and just steer clear of your zombies uh, what you want to do is kind of stay a little closer to him if you don't have your Ben Franklin bow so he really doesn't get around the map too quickly and jump all around and stuff you can shoot the symbols a little easier uh, if you do have your Ben Franklin bow just do what you see me doing man pop his ass every time you see a symbol hit him with some electricity and you should be good to go uh, the third sequence is going to be the same as the first two sequences. The only difference is once you completed this symbol step, you can kill his ass. But for right now, what you want to do is continually get those symbols eliminated off of his body until you damage them enough to be pissed off to jump back up top and summon another wave of fire. There are several uh, circle locations that you can hide in when that fire comes. So don't panic thinking you have to get to the one that you saw me in on sequence one they're all over the place but I like using that one because I know where the skeleton zombies spawn in at and it's just a lot easier with my Wimbo being over that side of the map and shooting those skeletons um, so what you want to do you guys once he jumps up there he'll summon the fire you can go ahead and eliminate the zombies they would burn up in the fire anyway and um, get rid of those skeleton zombies they're only gonna spawn from the right like I said before they would not spawn to the left and just get rid of those with your world Wimbo and you shouldn't have any problems man uh, you're pretty much done with the second sequence once you get this far, man. One more sequence to go and his ass is dead. Good job. I will catch you guys on the next video. Remember, if you're new to my channel, man, subscribe. Hit me with a like if you find this helpful. And I will see you guys over there.